So dear learners, what we are going to talk about today is something called convergence. Convergence is, uh, if you look at that uh, slide here, what an idea is Sergi, that what an idea is Sergi is an idea, uh, idea mobile ad, which actually encompasses this feeling or this concept of convergence very well. Let's go and have a look at it first. Convergence is a combination of, uh, I mean, it's a, it's a Latin word for two entities coming together. When two or more entities come together, it is called converger, which is where convergence uh, has come in from. Nicolas Negropont was one of the first persons who actually defined and represented convergence in a, in a diagrammatic format. For example, he, he talked of broadcast and motion picture industry print and publishing industry and computer industry. These, when, they, when these three circles converge, when they, when they intersect, he termed it as convergence. Let's go ahead. These are the first, the, the, are the, are the common ground and starting point for defining the convergence. And the definition of convergence is essentially a description of digitalization. What we are doing today in today's world in the media field is basically digitalization. There are several studies that have taken place on convergence and several researches that have been done. For example, Swedish Agency for Innovation Systems called Vinova uh, presented a similar model in 2001 pointing out four areas of convergence, services, electronic appliances, networks and market convergence. Convergence of services occurs when information traditionally connected with a certain media channel is provided through alternative media channels. For example, the one television uh, channel broadcasts other television uh, channels programs. If you look at the Sony, Sony sometimes or, or even uh, Z sometimes uh, broadcast Sony's programs. Or if there is a very very popular program that is coming on another channel, it is broadcast by, by another channel. That is called convergence, and basically convergence of services. Electronic convergence is of course what we see today in the electronic world, in the media world, that electronic gadgets keep on coming together and together. For example, if you look at uh, the mobile phone, that is probably the most convergent uh, gadget today uh, uh, we use. Initially, when we started using a mobile phone, it was just for making calls and uh, sending SMSs. But today, what we are using it for sending messages, we are using it for typing word files, we are using it for creating PowerPoint presentations, we are using 3G to watch video, we are using it for uh, even for shooting and uploading an MMS, uh, these are the kind of convergent technologies that we are using today. The third area of convergence is the network convergence. Network mm -hmm. convergence involves the integration of separate infrastructures and the distribution of services from other areas than the services traditionally distributed over a certain network. For example, internet. Now, internet encompasses a network. What is internet basically? If you look at it in a very uh, very down to earth manner, internet is an international network of computers, clearly. But then what does it do? It, it encompasses lands, vans and then wide area networks and a, a city, a country and ultimately becomes an internet. And this is what happens when you are talking of a, a network convergence. Market convergence, this is also a very important uh, convergence, even though we are not dealing with market convergence directly as a media person, but as a media person, as a media student, you have to understand that even in the media market, there is a lot of convergence happening. So, uh, when, when it occurs when actors in the market move to adjacent areas which has not been previously been in the primary areas of India, for example, Reliance. Now, look at Reliance. Reliance is primarily a telecommunication company when it came into, I mean, I'm not talking of Reliance Industries in terms of petroleum. I'm talking of Reliance Industries in terms of communication. Came in as a telecommunication company. But what is Reliance doing now? Reliance is having big flicks, that is the video rental channel. They are having a big cinema, which uh, produces and uh, big theatres where, where they distribute films. So they are into everything, every form of communication and distribution of films. That is what is market convergence. So, uh, what, what, will, what would ideally be a newsroom convergence? I get a story from uh, one of the reporters and uh, I use that same story. I get a downlink from the satellite, I get a video feed from the satellite, capture it, use that, that feed to create a story for the television. Uh, I also uh, write, quickly write a story or type a story for tomorrow's edition of newspaper. I write a script for the radio and at the same time, I am capable of creating a web page 
and I use that that capability to create a website. I mean, or add pages to my website. All this ideally should be a uh, the the method by which newsroom conversion should happen. But we really don't have that right now in, in our country. Maybe uh, in the future, very near future, I think it will happen. So uh, the, some other studies uh, of conversions, for example, Gordon has identified five types of conversions: ownership, tactical, structural, information gathering, and storytelling. In some of these theories, when we when we are going to look at this conversions, it will overlap. But uh, we have to talk of the studies that have been done. Ownership uh, conversions, of course, would be uh, you know compared to merging of two companies. Tactical conversions is a form of cross promotion. So when I promote your your program and you promote my program, that becomes a tactical conversions. Structural conversions is also very important. What is happening is today, uh, I cannot uh, claim to be a reporter, uh, only a reporter who will carry a uh, who will wear a jhaba and a jhola and go out in the field and write a story by hand and give it to my audience. That is not enough. As a reporter, I should be able to do several other things. At the same time, as an editor, I should be able to edit the story, put it, uh, put together a page maybe. And uh, due to this kind of skill sets, uh, multiple skill sets that are necessary, what is happening is within the uh, news industry, there is a lot of restructuring happening uh, in terms of job structures. So if I join a newspaper organization as a reporter, I may not be just a reporter, but I might also have to go to the office, put together the page that I'm supposed to put, uh, suppose I'm covering sports page, then it's not enough to just cover the sports and give it away to an editor. I might have to go there and put together the page in either Quark Express or PageMaker or InDesign and keep it ready for tomorrow's edition. That kind of structural convergence is happening in today's organizations. Information gathering, yeah, I, I don't know how it happens everywhere in the in the country, but in a city like Mumbai, uh, this is a very prevalent uh, form of uh, convergence. What happens is, in a city like Mumbai, you can't be in all the places and I cannot, as if I am the organization, I cannot keep reporters all over the city. Because just to travel from one end, one end of the city to the other end of the city, either east-west or north-south, it takes more than one, two hours. So I, if the news is happening in the south and I am in the north, I cannot cover it. What happens is, especially during the night time, what happens is these uh, reporters, they, uh, after the the shift is over by about 3 o'clock or 4 o'clock, they collect in a central place, chai pani pite, or us chai pani ke saath, what they do is, they do camera to camera transfer. So, uh, if you have got a story and I don't have a story, you will give the camera, or you just uh, plug in your wires and transfer the story to me. Which is why if you see in, in today's uh, uh, news, uh, news uh, uh, broadcasts, Sometimes, if you switch channels with the remote, you will see exactly the same picture in several news channels. Uh, there is no exclusivity in pictures. Everybody breaks the same news and with the same pictures. Maybe the narration is different. But why the same pictures? Because you have got information gathering convergence. That is what happens. Storytelling convergence is about new ways of uh, to present information in different publishing channels. Now, this is uh, very common. I think media students will know how to convert a story for a different if i i am from a political party or if i am uh, if my newspaper is affiliated to a political party i'll have to frame my story according to that party's convenience if i am from another opposition party or another party then i'll have to frame my story according to that particular uh, you know affiliation so storytelling convergence always there some uh, this is a very good model of convergence what what this actually uh, talks about is it's a convergence continuum there is always a continuation it's not a you can't segregate one type of convergence from another type of convergence. So you've got cross promotion and cloning and co-opetition and content sharing and convergence. They are all together and they all, all in, uh, you know, interact with each other to form a complete convergence. You can't, you can't really, you know, segregate each type of convergence. There are some the, uh, explanations about these convergences. Cross promotion is defined when partners cooperate. Cloning is uh, when uh, is the stage where material is republished into several uh, channels. So uh, maybe I have syndicated a column which is repeated uh, by another channel. Or uh, a simple example like Mahabharat serial, which uh, started off with uh, one channel and is being rebroadcast in several channels and still very popular. Coopetition is something uh, very important. We should all know now, though it is in a very small uh, point uh, here in this particular presentation, but 
it's an important phenomenon it is cooperation as well as competition at the same time so what happens is i uh, at a, at a higher level i cooperate with you so for example if i want to place an ad in the newspapers about something we together pool the resources and place a single ad for all of us so if you and me are are uh, uh, rivals in the field but at an upper level we put put together some resources and place an ad in the newspaper so we uh, so we spend less so if a newspaper ad is going to cost me say 50000 rupees it costs you 25 it costs me 25 in the field we'll be rivals we'll be rivals we'll be competing with each other so it's actually cooperative competition and this is happening every day now in the field and we should look at it as a student of media content sharing i think we already talked about this uh, content sharing when we are talking of uh, information gathering the same as that and full convergence when we actually you know merge uh, according to authors at the level cooperating partners share a central news desk so in a way somehow like uh, times of india sharing a desk with uh, mumbai mirror with economic times and you know uh, so i have a single desk where i get stories from my reporters and share the stories with all the newspapers that i have in my group Lawson Borders, another uh, researcher, suggests another model where convergence is a concept as well as a process. Both, it's a concept as well as a process. So how how does it work? Uh, convergence is distribution of content through blending of traditional new media, which leads to doors uh, doors opening to new opportunities in the media. For example, what you are seeing is today a lot of folk media is used for communicating uh, concepts. If you look at some of the channels, they are actually using puppets and cartoons. This is the kind of convergence we are talking about. Traditional one-way communication model is modified to include two-way communication. So, if I've got a reality show uh, going on, or if I've got uh, a news story going on, for example, in uh, Mumbai, there's a channel called IBN Lokmat. It's a Marathi channel, and they have a ch uh, they have a program every night called uh, uh, Atsa Prashna. Today's question. So there is a question, and what they do is they ask the viewers to send in their SMS every day and based on that sms they keep on discussing so today if i am discussing something and the sms say that uh, the answer is either yes or no it's not anything more but based on that the panel discussion keeps on changing that is uh, the that two-way communication that is happening this is the Lawson mod uh, borders model conversion source is the computer and the internet and you got medium wireless print cable and radio television satellite that is the way it is operating now uh, this is a picture which shows actually that everything is now converging towards a mobile phone, clearly. Rich Gordon has also defined convergence as content creation. Uh, I am going to go quickly through this because it is kind of repeat of the previous uh, ones. So, oh, content creation, you have to now be able to create content. So, you have to learn word and uh, from word you should be able to take the data and the content to Quark Express or maybe something else audio video everything that you have to do or embed into web page content distribution we are we know that we already have access to the internet it's a world wide web and uh, the distribution is happening so fast that uh, today's news i am recording today on the 2nd of may and uh, news that osama bin laden has been killed has already reached us and he has uh, died in uh, islamabad he is somewhere in islamabad so that is what content distribution convergence is about Content consumption is also very important because most consumers do not use digital display devices. They still use uh, uh, traditional media. But cable TV gives internet access but to computers. We can already see some key technology developments. Widespread use of content management uh, systems are there. Wireless internet access. All these are actually having uh, taking place. One very important but a slightly neglected uh, piece of technology is uh, MTNL IPTV. IPTV actually comes... Uh, through your broadband uh, modem which you have, router, which you get from your telephone company, from where you get your broadband internet connection, the same modem is used to give you te television connectivity and they actually give a very, very good uh, quality television broadcast signal. Well, I already talked about this, but uh, word convergence can be applied to these companies, their operations, the way employees do their jobs. Uh, using this framework, we can identify at least five different types of convergence. Again, there is a repeat ownership only three groups as i know of have some kind of convergence times sakar and lokmat uh, we also have convergence in tactics 
uh, traditional media companies began engaging in a variety of activities that we can call tactical conversions, where daily tips and information, spot news, photography, enterprise reporting, events, public service. These are the kind of places where they have used conversions. Structure is changing as we have already seen. Organization structures are bound to change with the new technology coming in. Information gathering we have already seen. We, when you talk of backpack journalism like I told you, I mean uh, what we have is a, a backpack or a sack where you have got a camera and a laptop and a mobile phone and a data card and a tripod. That's it. You are a complete studio in, in itself. That is the kind of convergence we are talking about. What is happening because of that uh, is that the quality of journalistic writing is deteriorating uh, very fast because that race for breaking news is actually killing the quality of journalism writing. Uh, presentation of course we have a storytelling convergence. When you talk of convergence you also have to talk of divergence. We cannot ignore divergence uh, when you are talking of convergence. Because uh, what is divergence? Divergence is uh, today when I, when I watch news on television I am not completely satisfied because we know that television keeps on repeating the same news because they don't have enough content, video. Television is all about video content. So since I'm not satisfied, I immediately go to the website and uh, look for news on the on Facebook or Twitter or whatever the website. I am still not satisfied. I still wait for tomorrow morning's newspaper so that uh, I, I know I wait for tomorrow's morning. Then I uh, switch on to my mobile phone and send some messages to my friends. Have you heard about this? Go to Twitter and see if Twitter has got anything. Go to YouTube and see if YouTube has got some videos. What we have actually in today's audience's hands is divergent medium and which is where we are talking of when you talk of convergence we also have to talk of divergence and just the way we media people have got uh, technology the audience also has got technology and we should remember that and we need to be able to create content for all possible distribution devices interactive and niche publishing encourages divergence not what we have been seeing that because interactivity means you have got a, a technology at the same time, the technology behind the services and production in the different channels are converging. So in production technology, there is convergence, whereas from the consumer's point of view, there is divergence, which is what we are talking about. One excellent example of divergence is blogging. Should we treat blog as, uh, as an authentic journalism article? There are a lot of views about this, but ideally, a blog is written from the heart, whereas a journalistic writing is written from the brain. And uh, frankly speaking, a journalist uh, has to authenticate his story. Tomorrow, if I ask a journalist to, to prove what he has said, the journalist usually, ideally, has to have a proof of what, uh, a documentation or something, which will uh, show that what he is talking is truth. A blogger has no identity. If, if I decide that I should use your name tomorrow, I can use your name tomorrow and create a blog and nobody will know who I am unless there is a police case and there is a cyber cell investigating from the IP address but ideally uh, blog writing need not be need not be journalism because there are some good journalists who are writing their blogs. Citizen journalism or participatory journalism again if it is authenticated it is journalism otherwise it is not. Well so media convergence is an ongoing process and if one process ends another process immediately starts taking over that whole process. So what are the implications of this is something which you have to think about what are the implications of uh, convergence what are the benefits of convergence for people what are the benefits for the media uh, these are the questions that you have to study and answer some very excellent examples of how information and communication technology has been used and how the convergent technologies have been used excellent example there's one hole in the wall experiment you might have heard of this if you search the net you will definitely get it Dr. Sugata Mitra from IIT Chennai, Madras, had an idea. There was a hole in the wall, if you can see this. There was a hole in the wall. What he did was, he kept a computer screen and a keyboard and mouse and kept the PC inside. And uh, there was a slum area outside uh, the wall. Uh, and he just kept it open, free. Anybody could use it. And surprisingly, what happened is, the children from the slum area learnt computers on their own. That is how convergent technology helps you. It actually uh, worked that way. MS Swaminathan Research Foundation, they have got something called Village Knowledge Center and Village, Village Research Center. This is a Chennai based firm. Uh, what they do is they, they have got an excellent mobile experiment where they have distributed, uh, they have created and distributed 
Tata Indicom phones and they have actually created a software whereby one single click will give the information about the market rates, the weather, whether it's going to rain today or it's going to rain in that area or not. That is what convergence does to us. Nicolas Negroponte, who actually first defined, in one of the first slides we have seen that he is the one who defined convergence in those intersecting circles. He has actually worked in India. He has come to uh, India in, in a village called Khaira, uh, which is near, near Karzat. And see, this is the kind of village, 20 houses and 200 people. What he did was he distributed these computers. They can be charged by hand, actually. They, not, they don't have a battery. And one computer, one laptop per child. And he taught, he teaches a computer to these children in a very, very small remote village. And they learn very fast. So what, what, what problems do we have with convergence? Social responsibility uh, theory, we know there is something called social responsibility theory, which is supposed to, that the media is supposed to be socially responsible. What we see today in the media, uh, I think you should look at it and talk about it. Framing theory, you know that uh, you can frame a story as you want. So I can, uh, with one incidence, I can change the outlook of the whole story completely to suit my own purpose or my organization's purpose. Gatekeeping. Do I have any kind of gatekeeping, gatekeeping now? Because if you're talking of gatekeeping, when you've got so many people sharing the same video, what is there to gatekeep? Backpack journalism, I've already talked about backpack journalism, breaking news. This phenomenon is actually breaking the back of journalism. And of course, attention to details. The tendency today is to simply Google. And whatever results you get, you use for your news story which is a dangerous phenomenon, which is, uh, you know, has come up because of convergence. So, uh, the questions that you need to answer now is, is there really content convergence in the media? Who benefits from it? The media organizations or the people? If you took a look at some of the examples, if Chandra Babu Naidu's one window phenomenon, because he is the one who, you know, digitalized, digitized all the land records in Andhra Pradesh and thus you could get records from one single window. IRCTC.co.in, the railway site, is one of the best sites India has, uh, best uh, uh, B2C sites India has, uh, a completely convergent website. We other also have some other problems like convergence and isolation. I have uh, an iPod which I carry along with me and once I put those uh, earplugs in my, in my ear and start listening to the songs, I am cut off from the whole world. I am isolated from the world and the world is isolated from me. That is one problem we have to talk about. Marginalization, so we have got something called digital divide. Convergence, the more convergent technology uh, is coming up, the more people who don't have access to that technology are being, you know, sidelined. That kind of marginalization is uh, happening. So, internet is a myth or a real reality. I, I, I think now it is a re reality, but we still have to look at the convergent part of it. And the communities, of course. Mobile phones we are using now with 3G networks coming in. I think it's going to be the medium of choice for even the media companies. Because what you have now is face-to-face uh, -face conversations. You have uh, video downloading and uh, possibly news broadcast. Instead of television channels, I can watch news while traveling. And on-the-spot news, immediate news, real-time news, which is what convergence is going to do to mobile phones and I uh, think that the uh, next five years are going to be very interesting in terms of the delivery of content over media which media are we going to really use well that's what uh, the, this ad I like the ad when I saw the ad because it actually talks of convergence when uh, the hero actually uh, uses a mobile phone to teach several children sitting beside be, uh, you know that is the Ideally, that should be the convergent, uh, uh, convergent medium that we have to use for education more than entertainment. Thank you.